I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm back with more of a Let's Play Spin Tires Mudrunner. And joining me, my own personal sounding board is mm -hmm. Gaming Psychologist. And well, we're still here, <laughs> still on our road trip. All right, it was nighttime. That's why I was swapped to the other truck because I didn't want to do that uh, in the middle of the damn night. What? Come give me fuel. Yeah, Granted, That's it's fine. probably not that bad, but yeah. All things considered, right, with this map, right? Yeah, I can swap to my other truck while we wait for daylight to come by. Yeah, I, I was trying to remember while I was on the other truck, and then I realized, oh, it's pretty dark down there. And that's rather perilous. Swap to this truck, my repair truck. Find my way over. Yeah, because don't want to lose the fuel truck, right? Because that would be a bad, bad day. Uh, yep, not something we couldn't recover from, but it would take time. Mhm. Mm I mean, Grant, I do have the other fuel truck somewhat nearby, but it's at about a third of a load of fuel. Excuse so me. it would have, uh, uh, we would have no margin for error essentially because. Uh, two good fuel ups would uh, drain it, and the second one would be questionable on just how much you'd get. Yeah, unfortunately, I lost the spare fuel that I brought with the repair truck when it toppled over the cliffside last time, because that was in the trailer, which is wedged between trees, and I gave up on trying to get it out just so I could save the repair truck. Which, the repair truck is important to get those two super damaged trucks that already have small logs loaded up on them. Which, that's where I'm headed right now. Yeah, I'm, I knew this was going to be a long map, but I didn't expect, what, six, seven episodes? Yeah, this is six, and we're not going to get it done on this one. We may not get it done on the next one. So we're looking at at least seven, maybe eight episodes. But I guess they don't call it a road trip for nothing. Although, granted, this map is only about somewhere between one-third and one-half road. <laughs> uh, depending on what you count as a road, right? Yeah. Because there's some areas in this map that's kind of questionable on you know, what counts as a road. Yeah, I would say kind of questionable is an understatement on some of those as well. Barely a path. Well, it's starting to get daylight, so I'd say probably about 6.37 on the time. To swap back over trucks yeah. for me to get fuel? Sure. That's fine. That's all. Be nice and bright. Plus, it gives me time to find a place to park this thing. Oh, really? Another one of those, yeah, hit a branch just the right way to uh, rack up a bunch of uh, damage. Racked up 91 damage in just a second. Well, that's not so bad. I've done worse. Yeah, but, yeah, but off literally nothing. Yeah. You know, I'm, uh, I'm having one of those moments where I'm going to push the wrong buttons to do the wrong things. Too much American truck? Yeah, American and Euro truck. I've played both quite a bit since the last time we played Spin Tires. And although they share the same control scheme. Yeah.
Yeah, they're not as stressful. Most of the time. Yeah, mo most of the time. Now, when the uh, driving AI gets either really dumb or really realistic, and I can't decide which it is. <laughs> little column A, little column B. Then it gets stressful. You know, the, uh, the car that will just sit in the middle of the intersection. Yep. And, and won't let you pass until the light turns red so the traffic clears. Yep. Or that change lanes without indicating or... They do indicate, but it's literally at the last second. Uh, they start changing, then indicate? Yeah. Yeah, incredibly realistic, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we could make an entire list of all the driving quirks and be like, wow, this game is the most realistic driving sim I've ever played. <laughs> I don't need the fuel, but it uh, will save uh, fuel from uh, being pulled out of the other fuel truck. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving my fuel truck. Okay, I think I'm all set to swap. Uh, let me just get through the lean slot area here. Okay. Because now it's nice and bright, so I can see my uh, demise coming. Come on, you big old hippo. Get out of here. Wait, was that a fat joke? <laughs> Only a little. No, I'm uh, moving my E-Class fuel truck to go fuel up my empty... the empty one. That my original plan, I was going to fuel it up off of the fuel in my... Uh, utility trailer, which went tumbling down a mountain. So now I'm having to uh, adapt and overcome. But if you're ready for me to swap, I can just go ahead and swap. Well, I'm already in motion. Let's see. It's this one. Hello. I paid attention to my driving, so you can't honk. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, now I can. I have zero liters of fuel. Although I think I can, st I can still start my truck. I don't think I'm actually 100% out, but I'm close. Thank you. Now to uh, do the fun part. Because this was, uh, getting to you was the uh, fun part. I could have done that in the dark. But backing, backing up. up. Yeah. That's why you had to wait. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Grand, you were further up than I thought you were. I'm uh, doing some creative winching to get myself turned around here. All right, well, that was fun. Indeed. Thank you. I'm 
enough? Can I get out now? Not quite, but a little more winching will do the trick. Yeah, I was more conscious getting there than I was <laughs> backing out. But then again, the camera can be a bit of a bitch at times, huh? Certainly can. I think that's uh, what I really wanted to uh, address in uh, Bud Runner 2. Either that or have the functional uh, uh, mirrors so the in, in cabin would be a lot more useful. Yeah, that would be handy. All right, I'm going to have to listen to this truck backfire all the way there. Woo, America! Oh, you said backfire, not gunfire. <laughs> now, if I significantly damage the truck on the way over, I'm going to have to drive the repair truck all the way around and back up and fix it. And I don't want to have to deal with that. So fingers crossed for no major issues. No major issues with you? I mean, that's your entire profession, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but the issues aren't with me. They're with others, so. So far. And how does that make you feel? <laughs> I feel great. I feel happy. Yeah, definitely a shorter map on the next uh, uh, series of this. <laughs> I don't think any uh, map is going to be as long or longer than this. You just had to say that, didn't you? I mean, there might be one out there, but if there is, I haven't seen it. And I've been playing... I played a shitload of these maps. So we're still going to do the lighthouse one next, or did you have a... found a different one, because... I haven't even uh, loaded this up outside of recording just to, in fear of screwing up this uh, save. Uh, yeah, the lighthouse, uh, whatever the dam one is called, whatever dam, and then quarry are all excellent. I think for either any one of those would be great for the next pick. Quarry is a pretty big map um, from testing it, just like. Um, in order to deliver logs and stuff to the bottom of the quarry or to get the logs. I can't remember which. Whether you're getting them or delivering them there. Well, simple. We just throw them down. You have to, you have to go, you have to spiral your way down and it takes a little while, but we know we're near no as long as this, yeah. but longer than just like a standard map. Maybe do a short one in between, uh, that and quarry or this and quarry, I should say. Yeah. Um, Norish. It's Norish or North Dam. Uh, Northish. It feels about like a regular map, I think. I mean, I didn't. I haven't played any of these to completion because I didn't want to ruin them too much. Just sort of yeah. explore them a little bit. Um, Lighthouse is pretty sprawling. It's got a lot of stuff that you have to find on the map, I believe. But I don't think it's too big with another person. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> after we finish this, before the next one we record, I can talk to you about some of the maps that I tried out and we can All try right. and figure one out. Uh, sorry, I just got kind of uh, uh, shuckly because I ran over a bush and it got caught in the trailer. So it just it was going dun, 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 around the axle. Yeah. The 
It just amused me. So these must be some damn valuable logs if we're going through all this trouble. Yeah, they must be, uh... Must, like, contain gold or be, like, the rarest logs on the planet. Because we're passing up lots of perfectly good trees. I mean, like, there's a, a nice log right there, on, just on the ground. Actually, depending on where I am. No, that's not from... I was about to say, maybe that's uh, from one of the lo uh, some of the, uh, the lumber that we've dropped, but no. Maybe we, uh, it's on a cadmium, you know? We're, we're stealing this from giant smurfs. <laughs> oh, hey, your short log trailer's showing up. Like, I can see it. I'm assuming that's the one that you, uh, it fell. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I went back and I watched that bit of the video, and I think it was a combination of not catching it, uh, starting to slip, and the road, uh, collapsing under it. Yeah. But, damn, uh, th uh that bridge was way, way high on my, uh, tire well. And that was painful to watch, even though I knew uh, yeah, the end result of it. Yeah. Because, whew, that had to be the most stressful driving I've had in this game. Which, uh, you know, uh, the tension of a, a longer map, you know, screwing up and it's going to take you half an hour at least to, to reset. Yeah. In some ways, that's, like, really fun and interesting, and in other ways, it's just a nightmare. Well, I think it's more the fact that there's so many uh, kind of gotcha moments on this map. You know, uh, the Dever Bridge, uh, a couple of the places where the road is, you know, a fever dream. <laughs> Uh, some of the places where just the road has more obstacles than, you know, uh, an obstacle course. Or, you know, rocks on it that are bigger than my truck. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now there's a trailer. I'm actually here now. Yeah, you see what happened to it? Yep. Concentrating. Concentrating. I'm good. My trailer was like, don't be like me. Learn from my mistakes. Save yourselves. Take half damage. Hey. Digging in. I'm spewing black smoke. That's not good. Enemy.
44 liters of fuel. To to go? So you no, no. Fuel? Uh, topped off. Oh. 44 liters from my last fuel truck to this one. That's quite the thing, huh? Yep. Yeah. There's more black smoke. There's my upside and the down last trailer. The, the last uh, fuel truck was only seven liters. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. So actually. it was, it was a Kyle. Yeah. And the last fuel truck was a Kyle. Mm -hmm. Yes, and here's where I run into a problem because I've got two trucks stacked up on this road that you wouldn't have to deal with because they'd be grayed out when you got to them, but that are in my way. At least I hope they'll be grayed out. Come on, pull yourself across. Goodbye, fuel truck. I hope I see you again. That you can fly? I believe I can touch the sky. You dream about it every night and day? Spread my wings and fly away. <laughs> I should be able to just pull this truck back out of the way. I'm deliberately Spider-Manning for a little bit to save all the fuel I can. I, that you blame me there, huh? No, nope, I've done a little bit of that. Spider-Man? Yeah. Spider-Man my way. There we go. Got it out of the way. Easy there. Did a little bit of an odd bounce, I think. Physics, right? Yay. Physics. Also, yay, I repaired my truck. Yay. I'm on the move. I'm going to have to move my E-Glass because it's going to be in the way too, but I'll deal with that when I get there. Drive on this dirt path. Oh, cute. You think that's a path? And the path is gone. It lasted for all of 100 meters. On the plus side, I think I'm actually dragging some of these trees out of the way. No, they reset. Oh, really? That's yep. evil. I have, I have discovered that on my travels back and forth on that path. That's just pure evil. Indeed it is. Where do I need to... Yeah, you're going to make Over so there. much money off this guy. 
<laughs> I mean, I'm thinking full psychoanalysis, some heavy medication, a nice uh, rest in the funny farm. Send him over to Moxon Bend. Let him put him in one of the padded rooms. Give him lots of drugs. Yeah, towards the end, you're not even going to remember his name. You're just thinking, mortgage payment, <laughs> student loan payment. All of those sweet student loan payments. So, Mr. Payment. Uh, that's not my name. It is now. Which I realize is kind of the irony of me bitching about this being a tough map while I've been setting up Dwarf Fortress earlier today. But at least Dwarf Fortress is fair. Most of the time. I wouldn't know. At least not yet. Oh, don't worry. You will. And I do suggest a, a tile pack, by the way, So, unless you want to learn ASCII. Okay. Uh, basically, it gives uh, door for it brings Dwarf Fortress from the 80s to the 90s. This is not endearing this game to me at all. <laughs> I don't... You do know... You, you, you know me. You know how lazy I am. This is taking a, a lot of effort. I mean, I'm going to do it because Game Club... But if I didn't have that incentive at this point, I'd probably just be like, no, "Oh, watch would, a let's play." I would definitely be like, "Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing this. It's too much effort to get a game working." Yeah, but the thing is, once you do the initial setup, uh, get the world going, that sort of thing, uh, you could do several fortresses before you even have to consider resetting a world, because they're in a shared world. And what's kind of neat is uh, I was talking to you about how it's essentially several different games at once. Yeah. Uh, your inhabitants that you uh, get uh, occasionally just in migrant waves. Uh, if you go into the Legends viewer, you can actually see where they came from in their lives and uh, their family and what their family did, that sort of thing. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Or if you have to abandon a fortress, so you could uh, see who escaped and where they went. And uh, when you just try again, uh, you may actually get people from the old fortress showing up. Don't you mean when I have to abandon a fortress? <laughs> Even if I take to this game and wind up doing pretty well, there's still going to be that initial phase where I'm fucking everything yeah. up because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, plus all the hidden little things that you don't know about and uh, that I won't tell you about. But I'll just uh, sit and chuckle whenever I hear you uh, ask me about something uh, that I know about. <laughs> it's like, why are you chuckling? Uh, no reason. I, I just thought of a funny joke. Ask me about my wiener. Popped into my head when you said that. Uh, no thanks, I had my bratwurst earlier. <laughs> Have you seen the uh, Bowsette thing? Hmm? Oh yeah, I've seen that going around. Yeah. Uh, big titty Bowser. Yep. I'm I'm into that. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know I didn't know uh you know this was a thing, and suddenly I'm okay with this. Yeah, I it, tweeted earlier. I just want to let everyone know I'm into Bowsette. That is all. 
<laughs> well, to be honest, you know, Bowsette has to be better for Mario than Peach is, alright? Yeah. Peach is always running off, going to another castle. Getting fucked by Bowser. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest, right? Not, uh... Not finishing cakes that she's gonna bake for him. Leaves really weird cryptic notes. You do realize Peach is fucking Luigi on the side, right? Leaves stars all over. Oh, yeah. I think Peach is in an abusive relationship with Mario, and she wants to get out of it. So she keeps going to Bowser for help. But Mario keeps showing up and beating the shit out of Bowser and taking her back. Are we going to do... Uh, because it's been a thing on the docket. Uh, Psycho analyze a uh, well a character is Bowser, Mario, and uh, Peach. Uh, uh, how on that list now? They could be because of Big Titty Bowser. Yeah, I could. I could. Not for this week. There's not enough time. But I could plan ahead and and do that if you want me to. Yeah, I have to break out the big book of crazy. Indeed. The big book of crazy. I took a post-it note and stuck, wrote that, and then stuck it to my DSM. <laughs> Has anybody asked you about it yet? The the minion did today. <laughs> she was like, "What are you doing?" And then I explained the conversation that I had with you about it, and she was like, "Oh, that makes sense." <laughs> so have I scared her yet? No. Not yet, anyway. All right, fuel. Oh, I'm not close enough. A little bit closer. Fuel. Yeah, I'm trying to be as efficient as possible on this one. And right, I have 428 liters of fuel left in the fuel cistern. But did you show the minion big titty Bowser? No, not. I did not. <laughs> I will. And that's the official name that I've seen, at least. I will. I'm not, like, afraid to. I just didn't find that until later today. And we had some stuff going on. So I'm not like, hey, minion, let me interrupt everything <laughs> that you're doing and have been asked to do by... The, the clinic director to show you this. I love that uh, that she's later. officially minion now. Yeah, I mean I don't just like call her minion to you know, outright to her face, like that would be kind of disrespectful. But I mean like we all refer to her as the minion, <laughs> and she's okay with it. So like when addressing her directly, I will use her name. But well, of course, I, I mean. Uh, uh, he was very respectful to all his minions. <laughs> he was. I, I mean, think about it. He was a really good boss. <laughs> he was. He was. That's why he made such uh, a good dad. Because they were all like having hundreds of little jaundiced children. Yeah, except not taking them to the doctor. So he's anti-vax. Right. I don't think there's a vaccine for jaundice, though. Maybe that's why he... I mean... Locally, that series is set in like the 60s or the 70s. Mm -hmm. So maybe he took him to the doctor and they're like, yeah, we don't know how to fix this. So like, what the fuck is this? Why is your child all jaundiced and have one eye and only wear overalls? Well, I'm sure they explained all that in the Minion movie. But I didn't want to see. Uh, they do explain the overalls, but otherwise they don't explain anything else. I guess... The, uh, I figured that you've seen the Minion movie. I've seen kid. the Minion movie several times. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen. But that's but about the nicest thing I can say about it. I've uh, seen worse movies. Let me guess. Let me guess. Cynical cash grab? 
Oh yeah. Tentacle cash grabbed aimed at children and old people. Because for some reason, old people really like the minions. Either love them or hate them, and there's no in between. Pretty much. There's actually a subreddit called uh, Minion Hate. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? No. It's basically people go flipping the fuck out because uh, there's Minion on something. I mean, it's basically what we were with uh, Fidget Spinners. Gotcha. Or I was with spin Fidget Spinners, I should say. I still have mine that I play with sometimes. Yeah, but you actually have a reason to have them. That's the thing. Yeah. Which, boy, that fad went away quickly, huh? It did. It did. Only lasted a few months, but, I mean, that's long enough for a few people to make, like, a kajillion dollars, so... Good, good for them, I guess. I wish I made a kajillion dollars. I'd sell my soul for a kajillion dollars. Hell, I'd sell my soul for a lot less than a gajillion dollars. What about a really nice grilled cheese? Um, can that grilled cheese either pay off my mortgage or my student loans? If the answer is yes, I'm in. If not, then we need to go back to the negotiating table. Or it depends on if you see Jesus on the outside of it. Uh, if I see Jesus on the outside of my grilled cheese, I'm going to sell him to someone on the internet who can pay off my mortgage or my student loans or is it the or was it the virgin mary i can't remember which brand of crazy that was in particular probably one of each so i've got a load of medium logs i'm headed back to my oh, tanker truck um, oh boy i'm at the danger area uh, the pucker ass uh, bridge. Headed Should I try down. this at night? Yeah. I, I'm. I would wait till daylight. Well, I the do question believe. is, what can I do till then? Well, do you want to try and get your super damaged low fuel truck over to where my repair truck and fuel truck are? Or yeah, I could try, but it is. Uh, I mean, super damage doesn't even begin to uh, explain that one. Yeah. It's uh, this one. I mean, it has 27 uh, damage left on it. Okay. Okay, now where are you? I guess oh, I could swap right. trucks and head towards you. Hang on. This is my... Uh, can you put a marker on where your uh, repair truck is? So I can start trying to work this way, that way. Yeah, I just swapped to it. Here's my... Okay. So basically, I need to back up and turn around, right? Yeah. Um, right here, I was able to cross in that truck. And head over to where I am right now. But I'm going to start coming towards you in the repair truck. Oh, that does not sound good. What doesn't sound good? I'm trying to move the truck, and that is not a pleasant sound. It sounds like it's powered by firecrackers. It's like the 4th of July. <laughs> Yeehaw! Let's see, how did I get over? This way. This way. Oh, oh, easy. Yeah, I don't even have a spot to turn around here. I gotta try to back up the hill. 
Oh, there's a tree I just ran into. All right, it was only 70 damage. So this episode, I've been backing up <laughs> some uh, into some interesting places. Oh, there's another tree. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough to do damage. Just in case this water is too deep. To save the day. Bring you some wee bad boys. And close enough. I'm not. A little closer. Well, I'm trying to realign with the road. Woo! Alright, I can give you more. Do you need more? I know your truck is still pretty damaged, but do you want I'm to I'm at it? 377, so I'm better now. Are you still in the red? No. Okay. And I'm going to save these last repair points just in case. And then... Oh, I want to do this. You're going to back into me. I'm well, trying to I'm... get out of the way. I just don't well, want to accidentally have... flip over. Yeah, I don't have much of a... Well, I guess I could try to turn around here. This is the first decent turnaround spot I've ran into. Go. I'm gonna pull down the road a little bit farther. Oh, this thing does not have a turn radius at all. And off to the side. All right, are you gone? Yeah, I'm swapping trucks back right now. Yeah, I'm trying to get an idea where I am because this is proving to be interesting. Because it just didn't have the turn radius to be able to turn around there. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying desperately to get, uh, yeah, a better situation on the road, but, oh, uh, damn. Uh, th this is, uh, I was not in a good spot to begin with. I should have probably tried to turn around back there. If you need a winch or something, I can, uh... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, sorry, I'm, uh, concentrating. You're fine. Because I'm... Yeah, I'm trying to side here because... Uh, there was a dip in the road that I couldn't see because of the camera. Well, it's getting close to daylight, so hopefully that'll help you out. Oh, 
Stay on target. Stay on target. Harriet, stay on your wheels. That's actually why I'd prefer. On the future. plus side, because of the sun dip and having to make a very oddball turn, I could turn around. <laughs> well, that's good. So, silver lining? Silver lining. I do not like the way that I'm sort of leaning over. But I don't have a choice but to go forward. I think... Okay, it turned out okay. Okay, well... Since we've gone through one rather stressful situation, how about another? <laughs> the more the merrier, right? Back to the fuel truck. Oh, I'm stalling. Drive. Well, why are you waiting? Because it's daytime. Huh? Oh, because I said I was stalling. Oh, I thought it was funny. <laughs> Ish. Alright, stop engine. Oh, that that'll, was interesting. All right, that'll be enough fuel to get to your fuel truck. But let's try taking this. Uh, oh wow! I thought the uh, short log trailer went a lot further down. Man, uh, the short log trailer is actually recoverable. For some reason, I thought it went all the way down the hill. Hmm. I have to remember that. Of oh, course, it's uh, like in a Telltale game, it doesn't make a difference on my actual choices. <laughs> Zing. Yeah, I'm surprised at how well this truck is able to go through these muddy conditions with only uh, two powered axles at the rear, so not all-wheel drive, and no mm -hmm. off-road tires. I'm just very gentle with it. It seems to be able to make its way through. And I think this muddy stuff will be the worst of it. And there's less places to winch down here, so I kind of have to rely Until on the truck a lot more. Until what? Until you get to pucker your ass bridge. I mean, I took the, the medium log trailer up that without too much of an issue. I'm not gonna, yeah, but, like, be reckless. Yeah, but getting back, that's the thing. Yeah. Getting across it one way is a lot easier than getting across it the other. Yeah, but I've taken the medium log trailer up once already. I mean, I'm not gonna be reckless. I'm gonna be very careful and slow. But if I can get that trailer up there without dropping it, I think I can get the truck up there. Who's the little truck that could? You are. Yes, you are. And if I'm nice to you, maybe you'll get up there better. That's my theory. 
All right, new theory to test. Because up until this point, yeah. I've just been the swearing. Can, and... the, the, think, the think I can theorem? Yeah. up oh hi um <laughs> go around let me just change trucks so i disappear that way you can go right through me there we go. thank you you're welcome i didn't realize you were this far yep i'm taking that truck first before i destroy the road anymore with my other truck Okay, I'm through you. Okay. You can't stop me now. Don't stop me now. Having such a good time. We are? I thought it's been a stressful time. It has been. Uh, then again, for me, it would be more another one bites the dust. On the plus side, I was a lot more frugal with my fuel getting down here. I still have 190 left of my original 270. Nice. That's not bad. Nope, not bad at all. I am... Well, see, all those uh, points in eco traffic eventually pay off. <laughs> Maybe stuck. This was one of the only places I was worried about. This and having to drive through the water. Yeah, I wanted to get this truck uh, across first, you know? Since I already had it here. And I was sure that I could get it at least back up to there. Yeah. I think I may have winched myself. Not. Well, this truck is up to 23 kilometers. <laughs> this truck alone, I should say. That's kind of crazy, huh? Yeah. My truck that's carrying the medium log trailer is somewhere around there. I wonder if there could be a stack overflow error in it, or rounds around to negative. <laughs> that would be interesting. I don't know. Granted, that's a very long drive. And we're across. Okay. Now, the only part, the only other part that I'm really worried about is this water crossing right here. And I might have to go bring my other truck across and then just sort of drag this truck through. But we'll see. I am Winch. Hear me roar. Watch me pull this truck. Spider truck? Yeah. There's the other truck just out across the river. Hello, other truck. Yeah, this mud is nasty. <laughs> I would imagine that would be a bitch on the other one. Yeah. It is. But we're through! And now this is where the, air quotes, dirt road is. As I start winding my way up the hill. 
I think at one point it's supposed to be a dirt road, but they haven't installed it yet. <laughs> they, they need to go through the proper permitting and you know the, the uh, go check for Indian artifacts and everything else, right? Yeah. Uh, the animal study to make sure there's no endangered, endangered newts or something. Easy there, truck. You just stay in first gear. Hey, there's your crash short log trailer, so I'm almost to the... No, you are at it. Yep, there it is. Well, I, I, at least flip, I at least flip my trailer back over. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I could see the text for the trailer before I could see the road. Wait, you could see a road there? Well, you know what I mean. The no, 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 where no. I'm supposed to go. No, no, I got it. It's not a road. It's a, it's a Rorschach test. Uh, do you see a road here? Oh, very interesting. <laughs> what else do you see? Am I hung up on the... Okay, there we go. Don't worry, I'll, ch I'll change to my trailer and help out. I can break on. I gotta do much in the event of a roll, but... Alright, winch. Pull me on. And parking brake, release. Yeah, I'm saving a little bit of fuel here. All, right. All things considered, yeah, a little bit here and a little bit there does add up, huh? Yes, it does. Parking brake. And winch. Whoops was not in relation to almost falling. I just accidentally turned my parking brake back on. I'll see. Bomb whoops are a lot more entertaining. And we're we're past it. Now it's smooth sailing from here on. Well, I'm not sure I'd go that far, but one of the mo most scary bits on this journey has been dealt with. Now let's move on to all the other scary bits. I'm going to get to the hairpin and then swap back while it's still daylight. And work on getting the medium log trailer past that. Well, part. I'm just pulling uh, chunks out of the ground, uh, pulling myself out of the river. I mean, granted, I probably could do it without it, but fuel. Seem to be a little stuck. Oh, there we go. Alrighty. Come on, medium log trailer. You could do it. Lack of road ho. Yep, 
Yeah, I destroyed this road even farther. <laughs> you can do it with your six-wheel drive and your off-road tires. Sure, you're pulling a few thousand pounds of logs, but no matter. Now, are we sure these are logs? They could be, you know, room temperature superconductors or something, right? They could be. That would be amazing. That would make this all worth it if they were. We've been recording for about an hour, though. Yeah, I just wanted to get to the lumber mill and call it there, which I'm almost there. Okie dokie. Also had a couple portions where I was slightly stuck. I mean, not so stuck to, you know, announce, oh no, but yeah. It's just one of those, yeah, back up a little bit, back up, uh, back a bit, up a bit to the right. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I think I'm gonna worship the uh, the Almighty Winch, at the off-road church of the truck gods. Now, this winch is just doing all the hard work. Yeah, good thing uh, you know uh, it's just battery power. Yeah, and you fully recharge your battery by even uh, thinking about the engine. It's not how most winches work in the real world, but you know what? I'm okay with that lack of realism in this instance. No, I demand more realism. Make it painful. Hurt me, daddy. <laughs> oh my. Well, I know what Jared's going to be thinking about tonight. to do a little bit more winching not in the order of saving fuel but just that there's a bunch of trees in the way I mean why can't I just take these logs these look perfectly fine right yeah at this point I'm not even sure the e-class could make it through here without winching I mean, there's no road, there's no path, there's barely even any land left. It's just all churned up mud. Uh, things Bell said on her wedding night? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I know from the sound of it, it's... Uh, just turning Kyle over on his side so he doesn't throw up and choke himself. <laughs> they went to uh, Ireland for their honeymoon. They went to go see the spot where that they filmed all the stuff from uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi where Luke was like on that planet with the Jedi Temple. Which I have to admit <laughs> was really cool. Uh, still haven't watched it. Uh, didn't I give you a copy? Uh, no. Oh, well, I'll have to... I, I don't think. I'll have to get you a copy. I'm pretty positive that I ripped that. I know I have it on Blu-ray. I mean, I haven't been in a big hurry uh, to watch the other Star Wars, just to kind of... Partly wait to uh, you know, see what happens, but also uh, I'm more of a Trekkie, and even you know, uh, Star Trek is kind of shit these days because it's going more action film. Yeah. To be fair, you know, uh, the next generation uh, movies weren't exactly uh, that great to begin with. I'm not about to say, well, it was just hot. It, you know, it was great movies. No, they weren't amazing, but. Yo, know, the older Star Trek. Uh, I didn't grow up with the original series, but I enjoyed the original series movies a lot more. Yeah, Star Trek Generations as well was a really good 
Star Trek movie. It was probably the last one that wasn't super action focused. Like there was action and stuff in it, but mm -hmm. it did feel like just a longer episode of Star Trek. I mean, to be fair, my favorite Star Trek movie isn't really a Star Trek movie. It's a submarine movie. Uh, Wrath of Khan? Yeah. Yeah, I really like Wrath of Khan. But, uh, but it's not, the not a great Star Trek movie. <laughs> yeah, I never even bothered watching the remake. It was okay. I mean, you know, they're a lot more action-packed. All right, I'm at the... The giant climby space. Yeah, I just uh, grabbed my logs and I was heading back while we were talking Star Trek there at the end. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here. I'm not gonna start this if we're gonna. All right, I'm, grab I'm just episode. gonna pull down here to the flatter spot, so I'm not starting in a you know giant incline with a tree up my ass. <laughs> well, I mean, if I weren't wood up my ass, I would talk to you. Indeed. But if you want to find me on the YouTubes and you're not on my channel already, you can do so by searching for Gaming Psychologist. If you want to follow me on Twitter, where I tweet about all kinds of things, you can do so by following me at JMA4707. And if you want to listen to us talk about mostly video games for between two and three hours, you can do so by searching for the Video Game Logic Podcast on your podcasting app of choice. Or head on over to vglpodcast.podbean.com and grab the RSS feed directly from there. What about you, buddy? Well, if you're not watching this on my channel, you can find me over at Gaming with Caffeine Rage. I'll just stop there so I'm not burning fuel. Uh, Gaming with Caffeine Rage, where I have several series going on, in theory. Uh, things have been a little dicey over there, but yeah, I got content over there. I got a few videos, right? Woo! Uh, I've been streaming occasionally on Twitch. I don't have a set schedule, but you can find me over there. Uh, Twitch.tv slash caffeine underscore rage. I know, very imaginative. And you can also see me tweet occasionally on the Twitters, Gaming with CR. I was talking about, uh, I believe, uh, uh, how, asking how episodic games have changed. Uh, your view of them after Telltale has kind of gone tits up. Indeed. And not even in the good way, you know, not the sexy way. <laughs> nope. In the very sad, frustrating way. Yeah, especially if you're looking forward to at least one of their uh, upcoming projects. Wolf Among Us 2. Yep. Actually, I think that was the only uh, project that they had go uh, in the pipeline that I was uh, interested in. Yeah, boy, that 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 may be, uh, be part of the reason why you know things turned out like they did. Uh, that and completely um, have bad mismanagement. But if you want to hear more about that, go check out a VGL episode uh, probably about two weeks ago now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye bye. It'll bye -bye. be on the Game Club episode. Look there. Yep. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you think about subscribing to my channel or hitting that like button up there? I'd really appreciate it. If for some reason you didn't like it, feel free to exercise your right to hit the dislike button. Regardless of whether you liked it or not, I'd love to have some comments down in the comment section below. We can talk about whatever it was you liked or didn't like. If you want to find me in other places and support me in other ways, you can do so by following the link in the description to my Patreon. You can also follow the link to my Twitter page, or just go to Twitter and follow me at JMA4707. If you want to watch me stream games on Twitch, you can do so over at twitch.tv slash jr4707, and the link to that is also in the description below the video. If you want to hear me ramble on about video games for hours at a time with my partner in crime, Caffeine Rage, you can do so by following the link to our podcast, vglpodcast.podbean.com. Until next time, bye bye now.